All right, y'all, what's up? Facebook, YouTube, and the groups wondering. Get a little quick tutorial of uh, how to use your, your Hobby Wing programmer. Okay. Um, Hobby Wing programmers for like the Max 5, 6, uh, 8, 10, easy one. Uh, don't know about the X Run series, but use um, Arma BLX 185 and BLX 200. <clears throat> we branded Hobby Wing. Uh, the Bill X 100 also is, I think, is a uh, we branded Hobby Wing. But I don't know if that is program would work with that EAC or not. But you know, you can try it out. Okay. So, what you want to do is take your uh, plug, your fan port. Okay. Plug it in. Make sure your lead is here. Plugged in right there, too. Okay. All right. Got plug in here. And what you want to do, okay, now, you don't want to use these programs a little different, because the Hobby Ring has a whole lot of programs you can do, Brake Strength, uh, Brake Force, and whatnot, but Arma EAC only has like fake five programs, so none of these programs are a little different, okay, so you want to follow the program your um, value and whatnot with your book, okay? And on a armor, you might have five settings, okay? Only my narrow, I think it's had four settings on narrow, if I can't remember. But you got your low voltage, punch setting, brake strength, uh, running mode, and your motor rotation, okay? All right, so now I've got that program. Now, what you want to do is turn it on. Alright, turn it on. Let me unplug my fans because it's kind of loud. That right? Okay. Alright, you see your value. Okay, your item. Number one. Okay, number two. Your punch setting, okay? Now, my punch is set at number four, five. It was set at number four, okay? Your uh, brake strafe is number three. Number two. Is factory. That's number two. This is number two. That is sitting factory 35.37.5 percent of your break. And when I change it to 50, I hit value. Now it's at three. Okay. Now it's back at one, 25 percent. Okay. And when I back to uh, the factory setting, number two, 35 percent. You see here, 35 percent. That's your break strength. Okay. I'm going to keep it as that. If I want to increase the 50% brake strength, okay, and I want to put an uh, item 3, okay, value 3. All right, and this is your uh, running mode. I ain't going to mess with that. I'm going to go back to the uh, rotation. And back to number 1, you no know, vote is cut off, okay. You got your nickel and, and uh, my pole and uh, other battery, okay. They set at 1, that's night pole, okay. All right. Now, number two is your punch. I had the factory is number four. Okay. Uh, the Typhon, um, Outcast, Notorious, it might have different punch setting factory. But I know the Creighton is number four. I had it set up five. Okay. But when we go six, I can set it at six. Okay. But I'm going go all the way to nine. See that? Back to one. Two, three, four. Four is factory. Now I put like a five, okay? Now once it's set, you got one, you press okay. All right, now it's, it, it's locked in. You know what you want to do? Turn off EAC. Now it's saved. It's off, okay? That's how you program your Hobby Wing uh, programmer used on the BLX 185 or 200, and so on. Um, like I said, don't follow these programs here because. Uh, um, uh, Arma Build X only have maybe selected settings. They don't have all the settings on here. So, um, you comment on your section, and I might be wrong, but that's how I set my EAC on my plus setting. It's at a five. Okay, I might I might bump it up a little more. Maybe try it out, but that's how it works. So now, turn back on. Volume. I go to item two. See. It set up five. That's your punch. So it said that's the uh the item the value has been set. 
Okay. <clears throat> so that's how you use your hobby wing um, programmer. Okay. Just plug it into the fan. Just make sure you plug it in the right way. Like I said, the port got to be facing out. Um, that's it. So uh, you also, like I said, I, I, I use the buttons, you know what I'm saying, but the beeps, but that's kind of hard for me to keep track with the beeps and what's value is and all that stuff. So this program here is a lot easier for me to set my punch setting, my brake strengths and stuff, instead of using the beeps and whatnot. So I just can't, I tried it with the beeps and I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? So this is how I use the hobby wing programmer. Okay. Like I said, I don't know about the BLX 100 for the Sentin, um, Granite and the Big Rock Crew Crab, uh, 3S uh, BLX 100. I don't know if that this program will work with that. I have no clue, but it ain't hard to try. So um, that's it. But that's how you use her. But I don't. I don't think this work on the BLX 180. Anyway, I don't think it work. But on 185 and the BLX 200, this programmer works with it. But the BLX 100, I do not know. Don't say if it works or not. It probably does. So, like I said, I don't have a big rock or a Sentin or a um, granite 3S to, to, to know. So, this is, um, <clears throat> I want to show y'all how to do this because I look on YouTube and nobody really have explained on YouTube how to use a programmer for the BLX E85, 185 BLX Hobby Wing EAC. So I just want to let everybody know how to do this. It's real easy. Like so you get this eBay for like twenty bucks, you know what I'm saying? Or the hobby shop. Your local hobby shop will have these. Twenty bucks, you know what I'm saying? So or eBay. You know, so that's it. So, so again, um this is my old EAC. Again, all you gotta do is unplug it, the fan port, plug it in there, make sure the port is facing, the prongs pushing out, and plug it in there, turn on, and you can start your program. Um, anyway, I want to give a shout out to everybody at Armor Army, Armor Creighton, on the Armor uh, groups out there, you know what I'm saying, Facebook, YouTube, you know what I'm saying, look me up at, uh, Big Cows RC Adventures on YouTube. Subscribe, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I'll be having footage. So, hopefully, I'll be happy pretty soon. Have a nephew, have a uh, armor. You get a Big Rock Granite. I mean, a Big Rock um, Crew Cab 3S. So, he getting that pretty soon. If he act right. <laughs> if he acts right at school, he will get that. So, you got to prove me wrong, buddy. He's recording right now. So hopefully he act right at school. I do. And, and go to basketball practice. I do. He will get you a uh, RC. You know, so. <clears throat> but anyway, that's what I want to show y'all, man, with how to use it. You know what I'm saying? So right now I'm charging my batteries. Uh, might go out there and pay my rig and stuff and everything. So that's it, y'all. Um, oh, anyway, you notice here. I had to put my uh, factory hub on this side because I had a little crash and uh, broke on the ends off here off my um, hot racing um, hub. I do have a replacement here ordered, but um, I stripped the screw out. I stripped it out and whatnot, so, um, so I'm going to have to Give me a Dremel and fix this and get the screw out and I can put it back on and whatnot. So, all right. And I also got some uh, SRC terrain crushers coming in. Post come today, but they're not here today. So I went to the post office. So they might be here tomorrow. So I got some new tires coming in. SRC terrain crushers. I'm going to use us for the streets and whatnot and um, save my Badlands and whatnot. So, anyway, again, y'all. Don't follow the program instructions on here. Don't use this. Use your book. 
Cause the armor don't have armor rebranded Hobby Wing EAC. Only have a few programs to go by. You know, the Hobby Wing got a little bit more programs you, you could uh, adjust. You know, so don't go by this. Go by your book. If you don't have the manual, look online on my website. You could download the manual and whatnot. So I got the manual here and I got the manual on my phone. So also, before I go, I know it's getting kind of long, 10 minutes of the video here. <clears throat> All your parts is in your manual. Okay. You have problems with your differential. This is your breakdown. How you assemble your differential. It's easy. I didn't even have to look at the book just to assemble the differential. It's common sense. So if you want to um, replace your gears and whatnot, and you want to know how to put it back together, all you have to do is look at the diagram. You know what I'm saying? How you put it back into a diff cup. You know what I'm saying? So all your part numbers is in a manual. Your uh, spur gear, spur gear, your main diff gear, okay? Parts for your shocks, create outcasts, rear shocks, part numbers right there. And these ends right here, these uh, bottom shock ends right here, it, they are the same part number for armor narrow. So the V3, uh, Creighton. And also the uh, outcast use their old uh, shock ends. So y'all didn't know that. So you got a V3 Creighton outcast. Um, they use their old uh, shock ends. So, so that's good to know. Yeah. So everything breakdown. Chassis part number. You know what I'm saying? So all this is in the manual. So you break something, y'all. You need to find a part. I see a lot of people post online. Uh, what is this part here? What's this? What's that? Look at your manual. Look it up in your part number. So when you look in your, your book, it tells you everything you need. Man, that's a good reference book. So don't throw away your manual because it's hard to find you know, for your parts. You be asking questions online like, what part is this? And all you have to do is, y'all, is just look at your manual, man. Write down the part number, do a Google search, Amazon, uh, eBay, and it pops up the part. You know what I'm saying? Some of these parts are come in a bundle. So for some reason, like I got, I ordered some parts and they all come in one bundle. So you might need parts they don't need. But anyway, that's it, y'all. It was that y'all don't know knowledge, man. Look at y'all book. You got a problem with your RC? You want to know what part it is? Look at your manual. That's the manual for all your breakdown, all the parts and stuff in your manual. Also, if you go to a hobby shop, <clears throat> I had a problem with my Creighton and I went to the hobby shop with a part. Now, your hobby shop might have the old manual from the V2s and V1s. So it might not have the V3 man the part book. So I had a problem with a part. It was for the V2 and they didn't have the V3 it had an updated book. So if you order part for your hobby shop, make sure they have the updated book. If not, you order a part for a V2 and you need a part for a V3. So keep your manual and um do your part search and whatnot. Alright, before I go one more time, I just wanna so so y'all what I did. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I got the hot racer. Uh, hubs in the front. Got the hot racing rear hubs. I got the rear hot uh, RPM. Rear uh, arms. Skip uh, bug guards. RP, you know, RPM front arms. I got the uh, T-bone racing bumper. Okay. All right. I got hot racing... Um, Got the hot racing steering link. I got the voltage hot hobbies um, steering rack. All right, GKA collars. So shout out to Greg GKA. 
You know what I'm saying? So y'all need any parts, man. Good guy. So J G K J K A man, give a holler, man. You know what I'm saying? So good guy. You have any problems? Hit him up. He take care of you, man. You make good good products, man. Good products. Greg is a man. J K A. You know what I'm saying? So then I got the um hot racing grip brace, front brace. Um I should go with a JKA brace though. He's hot racing though. So anyway. Um Okay. And then um I got you know sway bars. Actually the last video I had the sway bars off. I just put it back on last night. So I got the sway bars back on. Why not? So yeah. She's ready to go, man. Kratos is back. Um I think that's about it. I got the 17 2 pin still installed. <laughs> um, we got 1 million center diff, 60 front fluid, and I got a mixture of 30 and 60 in the rear. I might end up going to get, have one of the 60 in the rear though when I do my um, maintenance and whatnot. And then I got the air yeah, racing heat sink with the WTF uh, fans. So. That's it, man. Like I said, it doesn't run hot. I, I said I want this FT2P here. Um, in the summer, uh, you want that pin or higher pin, you need a fan to run because the motor gets hot. Um, but like I said, now it's getting colder. I might not need the fans anyway because it's getting cold. But um, I, we'll still run them anyway. But yeah, but you want an old factory pin. Uh, I think a 12-2 pin on the Creighton. Uh, you won't have no heat problems. But you want it to like that 14 tooth speed pin and you go on off road, you go have little heat issues. You know what I'm saying? So, but I said I run a 17 tooth pin. Uh, pretty soon I might give me a 22 tooth pin though. Um, around with that. But um, yeah. And shout out to man, uh, Rising man. Look me up, man. My warranty uh, with new EAC. You know what I'm saying? So, no problem with that. Um, easy. Maybe you deal with a um, Horizon. I'll let y'all know. Some cases, it depends on the operator who, who talks to you on, on the phone. Usually, um, they want you to have a photo or a video of what issue you have with your problem with your RC. And you got to email them the pictures and whatnot. But um, some cases, they call you, tell a problem, they send you new, they send your replacement part, tires, and whatnot. But let know some some operators might be an ass and want want all the information they want, but also keep your receipt. They want receipt of uh, the purchase though, because you got two year limited warranty for all your armor products. So they want a proof of purchase, and they don't want you know saying five year old <laughs> car and think it's got under warranty or not. So but let us know. But some operators they cool, they work with you, they they send you out some stuff. But some operators, they, they kind of be a little pain, and you got to give them a lot of information and when, what, why, and pictures and video. So, and mind my voice, y'all. I'm still a little sick of recovering. So, hope that helps y'all. This long 18 minute video, um, <clears throat> try to explain how to use this you know, hobby wing programmer. So, all right, y'all. About to play some Red Dead Redemption 2. And chill. You know what I'm saying? Hodge boy. Make sure to like and subscribe.